hi everyone let's begin this tutorial so today's tutorial will be primarily focused on teaching you sound effects okay and how to pull them so first let's start with the editing okay first we'll do the edit so as you can see the background let me just bring in a default text and do to start key select the symbols and like this increase the size okay as you can see it is off point so i'll just make it something like this and then I'll write the text. You know what time it is. So I'll just bring a default text and write here. For this, I'll be choosing a font called Cosmetic Black. You can get it on Google for free. Okay. So I'll choose this font and I'll put it over here. Make it big. Okay. And as you can see below, something else is written. Okay. So first, let me make it bigger. Make this a bit you know small select this and use this okay i'll bring in my pencil image okay so all the assets actually i generated it from chat gpt it was very simple so i just took the reference video okay let me show you i just took the reference video and i put it over here okay and then i asked uh, told chat gpt at what what frames and at what what second mark i need the images okay so for example i need the headphone image which is at two second i need the money bundle at three second and the you know as you can see it generated these images okay very simple with the use of chai gpt to generate the assets now you will put this pencil over here okay i just make another copy of this Select the below layer. Let me just increase the distance. Select the below layer and then head on to the adjustment. Curves. Drag down this. Okay. To make it dark black. Now I'll just head on to effects. Okay. Search for blur. Bring on this blur onto this. Freeze the blur. Okay. Put it over here. Now I'll just head on to Bezio and decrease the you know opacity of this so like this you will get the shadow and as you can see there's some text below okay so i don't know what is written it is so small so what i'll do i'll just write something at random now as you can see it zooms out and then goes to the right okay so simply what we'll do is keep this fixed okay so the background should be fixed and increase the distance stretch it and lock it okay so we won't be able to move and select all of these is the you know distance i then click or plus g to make it a compound here so now what i will do is hit on video okay transform keyframe zoom it in like this okay and then zoom it out here Hit on another key stem and get content to the original size and bring it here like this. Yep, I plus K. Okay. Hit cubic out. Oh. So now what we do is just make it a copy. Hit all plus G to make it a compound tip. Okay. And then when it is zooming in, just cut from here, scale it like this. Okay. Remove or bring it here for now. And then go here. Cut it. Bring it here. Cut it. Bring it here. Again. Just hmm, make it original size. And we need to the center. So this will be our starting scene. Okay. But one thing we need to do is head on to effects. Bring in blur again. Head this. Go ahead. And make it zero. Hit R plus K. And select Q without. Add this till here. Okay. So this will be our first scene. And then it will shift to the right and then this will come. So this is simple. 
after this just you know hit on transform keyframe go to the right drag this out of the frame towards the earth hit on plus k then QB keys drag this okay now we need to bring the next scene so first we'll make the scene which is same okay just this is there and this so hit on media okay and just keep it this here make it big make another copy like we did the previous time select the below image and then on the video and decrease the opacity okay so you get this effect now as you can see this text so i'll go inside this confirm clip copy this and paste it here then this boxes are there which is easy to make so just bring in a default text okay hit windows plus dot t select this box bring it over here make it yellow as you can see the design is looking so clean and nice okay now we need to just bring in another default text okay fit space around to background and change this color to yellow now and just deselect thing from scale decrease the height put it below the text to see this looks good now i just animate you know this but do it later let me just make on this big okay go on side means select this and drag this out hit all plus c to make them a compound clip okay hit the video transform keep in go ahead again hit this or plus k and then go to the first heat tin first drag this out it all plus k and i'll select qb keys okay so this will be our animation i'll go inside this okay select this this and make it a compound click head down transform key fe go ahead Again, it on transform keyframe. Go to the first keyframe and drag this out. Tilt it, it a bit. Okay. Now I'll hit all plus K and you know, again select QB keys. Let's go out again and see the animation. And this time, I'll again go inside. Uh, select this head on to animation okay and uh, select wipe right okay you can also do this using mask keyframes okay head on to mask add mask and select split okay and then animate the split one from here to there okay now okay these rest two animations is same okay now just select this and drag this down and from up it will come okay design this scene same text this font again the same background and this small text at the last again this is there okay everything is same but what we have to do in the last two things okay meaning in this scene and in this scene is head on towards okay effects search for lay angular okay select this and just go inside and put it on my headphones but don't put it on the headphones okay just put it on the last two seats we start to look something like this where well, you know move a bit okay to give it a realistic floating effect okay 
so you know adjust the settings according to your you know preference these settings okay i can increase a bit okay it's according to your preference see it's moving so the same method you can do the large two things so the main thing of this video is you know at sfx so let's do that okay so let me just delete this bring a main value okay and let me bring up my sfx first okay first what we have to do is you know in the starting okay i had used this whoosh wind riser okay and glitch okay so whoosh i have used for the fast you know zooming in of the video okay the riser okay as it is starting so i have used riser with uh, riser sound effect and did sound effect or is for this effect you know it's cutting here two three times so i used ditch everything okay all this audio i have got it from this library okay i have just for this glitch i sound uh, searched for you know glitch sound effect as you can see here my history for whoosh i just sound whoosh and for riser i you know searched riser okay now as you can see these black lines over here okay these black lines what are these so if you select this you go over here we can see that this is a fail in okay so it will have no or little audio at the start and slowly the audio will pick up and what is paid out you know when the video is getting over so you want the sound to go down gradually okay so you will do that by cutting fade out so what will happen the sound will be maximum and then slowly it will go out okay so this is how i have you know put the first three sound effects then as you can see here there's a keyframe so what i have used is i just hit on volume keyframe and at the end i didn't want the sound to be high so i just put the keyframe here and tick this tick at the end okay now the next sound effect is impact okay so again i think i searched yeah i searched here impact okay so when it's going this side okay always remember to put your sound effects at the right place okay so as you can see just when it's starting to go my high point okay of the sound when the sound is rising over here i have put it here okay and again i had used keyframes so after this high point it will go down okay this keyframes are there as you can see wait let me show you here as you can see it is zero and then here it has gone down to minus 8.7 decibels okay so as it gets here okay and then here i have used gear sound effect okay also i have searched here gear sound effects okay and this comes okay then again whoosh another sci-fi whoosh over here okay all these sound effects okay you can just pause the video and if you search all the sound effects you will get it over here okay and always remember to use keyframes and fade in and fade out okay and you will be able to easily make this okay but one thing is there that some of the sound effects okay which are premium sound effects i have used from my own sfx library which will be present in the description like this cinematic boom okay this cinematic boom and this okay at the end okay and some of the whooshes okay but most of the sound effects like uh, you know 70% of the sound effects i have used from this library and the rest 30% are from my sfx library okay so this is how you do the sound effects okay you can try different thing also don't you know stick with these i have just given you the formula to use keyframes and fade in and fade out just mix a couple of these and see what sounds the best to you see you in the next two days